who is publishing this game. Uh, so big thanks to them for supporting the stream, and uh, yeah, feel free to ch check out the game. It's really fun, it's really addicting. I've already put like 20 hours into this game. It is ridiculous how much fun this game is. It's just like really well done, and there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of depth to the game, but it's not complicated. Actually, let me see if I can fit this in here. I can. Man, these these uh these beds are so big. I can only fit two of these in here for now. I I might do a third. Let me let me expand this and I'll do a third. Hmm. Trying to make the best use of the space. There we go. That's pretty good. Oh, we gotta move this, uh... Thingy. What's up with the headless people? Yeah, so those people have turtle heads, so their heads are stuck in their bodies. I don't know how. We've never diagnosed it yet, so, uh... It'll give us a funny description of, like, how it happens once we actually officially diagnose it. I think that's the, what they're doing right now. They're trying to figure out what the heck is this problem. What's more addictive, this or Stardew? Oh man, that's not fair. That's really not a fair question. And you are the width, the height, the length. Yeah, it's all great. Oh my god, there's so many people walking around like this. What the heck? <laughs> Lightheadedness, yeah. There's lightheadedness, which is like people's heads are light bulbs. There's pandemic, where people have like pans stuck to their head. Very punny. But yeah, I don't know. Between this and Stardew, dude, I would say both. I feel like if you like one, you're gonna like the other. Okay, this is nice. This is a lot of extra space. So I kind of want to get rid of this. Now the nice thing is, instead of deleting the room and redoing it, I can just move the entire thing and it's no problem. So that's exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> we'll put it here and uh... Let me pause and let me make the room bigger. Try to squeeze in some more beds. Actually, now I can put this bed here. Put two more. One on the ends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wonder if we would need a second nurse station to manage all this. Um, oh, we can actually fit one anyway, so we'll just do that. We'll keep an eye on this ward to see how it goes. But yeah, we basically what we want to do is because this is the entrance, eventually as we expand, we want to move kind of like the more specific treatment rooms to the outside and like the entrance should be for reception and like your initial diagnosis. Those initial diagnostic rooms are these GP offices. They always go to GP first. That's the first thing that they do. So eventually this entire section of the hospital will be filled with these green rooms. And we have uh, these two rooms. There's I think two or three like secondary diagnostic rooms. So those we want to put like closer. And then like the wards, surgery rooms, uh, and like those treatment type rooms are gonna be further out. Have I been in a real hospital? Yes. I have. Why, why these sizzle? Oh, we have like floating benches now. So let's actually move these. What's this? We failed to cure 10 patients. Like, 
the staff training room. We don't need it in the, like, main area. It's not that we, we failed the cure tent. It's like we didn't have enough patients. We need more customers. We need people to get sick. Are you diagnosing the headless people yet? Uh, I think we're still working on it. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, we're still trying to figure it out. We might need more advanced technology to cure them. Oh, see, now he's getting admitted to the GP office. Too cold? Uh-oh. So he's gonna do laps until someone uh, diagnoses him properly. This room's cold, too. Can I even fit a radiator in here? So eventually he will be properly diagnosed. Looks like we need some nurses. Oh, we need more radiators. Oh boy, okay. What's this, a promotion? Oh, it's just our assistant, whatever. Here you go, take some money. We still don't have a lot of money. We need people to get sick! <laughs> Come to our hospital, sick people! <laughs> Going to hospital would be much more fun if other patients had things like Monobrow and Pandemic. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're pretty funny. Like, if you saw people with turtle head, like... <laughs> you're like, what? Oh, mood poisoning. A dangerous condition that causes the sufferer's health to deteriorate fast, caused by paying too much attention to what other people think. We need to make a uh, injection room. Okay, let's do that. We'll put the injection room over here. Room size needs to be a 3x3, three three, so we'll probably just put it in this corner. Um... We'll put it over here for now. Oh boy. Let's get a radiator and we need a fire extinguisher in case this thing catches on fire. Yeah, we should probably put some benches outside. Give people some entertainments. Oh, an arcade machine. Yeah, let's put one of those maybe like here. It's kind of like in between. I don't know. We'll, we'll probably move stuff around once we fill up the space. Kind of want one more bench. Uh, let's move this around. Okay, this isn't even against the wall. There we go. That's much better. Okay. Oh my god. We need a... Uh, oh! Turtle head has been diagnosed! Retraction of the head due to an introverted spine. An excessive amount of force must be applied using an anti-turtling device. We need to research head office. Uh-oh. We're gonna have to send them home. Oh no. We can't cure people with turtle head. We need, a, we need to research the head office. We need to cure four patients with spinal bath. After attendees at a local town fair had their insides ruined by cake. Spinal bat. Yes, there are pandemic outbreaks. There are outbreaks of pandemic, which is when they get kitchenware stuck to their head. <laughs> and then a lot of them show up at once. <laughs> um, can't say diagnose without saying die. Oh my god, American American. America America. What's that rest legal? The loony affliction. It's an obsession with a certain fish. Alright, we need to make a surgeon uh, a surgery room. I feel like people are gonna die. We've never done surgery before. We have one doctor that can do surgery.
We need this, a medical sink, and a screen. I'm scared. I need to hire another nurse. No, a litter. I don't want someone that litters. Ah. We'll work for peanuts. Let's get the cheapo. Oh god, guys, I'm nervous. I need another nurse, uh, probably no, another doctor. Tires easily motivated, positive, hygienic and motivated. Uh, fine. This guy can do research and GP. I like, I like that. Oh, this person can do surgery. Can't even what? <laughs> How, how is that? I, I want that for my like Twitter bio. Can't even. <laughs> like what? <sighs> okay, let's get the can't even. Okay, okay, everybody just calm down. Everybody calm down. A level five staff room, okay. A head office, you gotta go home, I'm sorry. Uh, spinal bap, requires surgery in an operating theater. Okay, we gotta get a research lab. Crapper McCrapperson. I need to rotate this room around. There we go. Oh god, here we go guys. Oh... You guys have spinal bap. Hey, GB. I'm nervous. I'm gonna make a research thing while we're we're waiting. All right, here we go. Servers give us more research power? Let's do it. Oh, what? Wait, these are $10,000 a piece? Holy God! Whoa, 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 whoa! I just fed all my buddy. <laughs> oh. At some point over the course of your lives, that oh, oh my God, they like blurred it out. <laughs> Did it work? Wow. Oh, 20k. Let's go, baby. Okay, who else needs surgery? I think more people need surgery. Let's go, baby. Cured! 76% chance of success. Wow, the staff skill is 20%. It's so bad. Uh, let's put in some uh, posters to make people happy. Even though it's not very sanitary. But it'll make the doctors happy. Yo! Oh wait, I don't have a lot of money. Oh god, I gotta stop doing that. I'll get money if I get the staff room to level 5 though, so... Where's the staff room? Okay, I gotta really watch my money. I just spent so much money on those servers. The staff room is so small. Woo! There we go. 
Wait, we don't get money for that? We get 25% happiness? I don't care about your happiness! I need money! You know how the saying goes, money doesn't buy happiness? Well, happiness doesn't buy money either! I gotta turn these people away because they don't have a, a head office. How do I get a head office? Oh, here we go. Yeah, Chef. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yes, dude, let's go! Give me that money! Two for two right now, guys. Two for two. Let's go. Next customer. Give me that 20 grand. <laughs> let's upgrade our machine. Oh, wait. Money, though. Money, though. I gotta be careful. I'm so used to having a lot of money. Need to be careful. <coughs> Doesn't happiness give more money? I don't know. I don't think these patients are gonna give us more money if they're happy. We don't have a research- we don't have a doctor with research. This guy's really good and he's cheap. I'm gonna hire this guy. Makes accidental eye contact with strangers. Dude, I- I hate making eye contact with people. Like, not- not people that I'm- I'm fine with people that I'm talking to. I have no problem with that. But, like, catching eye contact, like, just, like, like, if you're, like, at a restaurant and you just, like, catch someone's eye or something, I hate that so much. Or if you're walking on the sidewalk. I hate that. I, like, just, I literally, I will just look off. I'll just look off a little past people. Um... Which actually becomes a problem because, like, in school and stuff, like, I'm really bad at noticing people because of that. So, like, people, I'll, like, literally have people that I know that are, like, walking up to me and it's not, I won't even know. And I feel like I've probably, like, walked past people that, like, I've known and, like, they might think that I'm, like, pretending not to see them, but literally it's, I'm not seeing them. I feel like that happened a lot in like high school and college. <laughs> a good way to avoid eye contact is to stare at their forehead instead. I don't know, it's not it's not that I'm overthinking anything. I just don't like I just don't like catching eye contact. I don't know. Ooh, I like this guy. Man, I like this Michael guy too. Meditech has announced a major breakthrough in the cure for baldness. Though they have refused to share any details. One wonders if this has anything to do with the explosion in Blyton, which saw a forest of hair spring up overnight. I know I need a head office. Just send them home. Send them home. This guy needs to be upgraded as a nurse. If you hover over the references, you can see what bonuses they give. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, anymore. Uh. Treatments? Treatment? Treatments. Let's do treatment. I need to train a doctor in research or hire someone. Oh my god. Chromotherapy. Hurty leg. I have hurty leg, guys. Ah! I have hurty leg. Wait, what are we making? Oh, chromotherapy? This guy has gray anatomy, guys. Gotta give him a good dose of chromotherapy. 
I'm gonna put the- I'm gonna put it right here. You suck! Haha, <laughs> JK, you rock! <laughs> Maddie, oh my god, oh my god, you're so funny, oh my god, ah, oh, you got me. <laughs> Thank you for the seven months, I appreciate it. Dude, look at all these successful surgeries, dude. space here. Wait, did I just sell that bench? Today's like day for me, I will be getting hurty leg later. <laughs> I'm funny. You're so funny. You're such a joke, sir. <laughs> Oh, you. Uh oh, we need a nurse. Oh, we need a lot of nurses. Oh my god, we need nurses. Where are the nurses? We have five nurses? Fast clown unmotivated? Oh. 20% speed. Ugh. But they're stamina. Sally Fig Blanket. Two point radios roving. You're good at a lot of things, though, so whatever. the state of our local hospitals today. What's this guy waiting for? Oh my god, special report? We, wow, we cured everyone in the surgery. That is pretty fantastic. Okay, so Sally Fig Blanket was not amused. What's Jazz Hand? A hand injury caused by too much enthusiastic thumb clicking, hand waving, and skin burns resulting from prolonged exposure to acid jazz. Oh wow. Oh my god. In the event of an epidemic, please try not to panic. Oh, I thought my building was on fire. <laughs> Person the worst. Cranky old man. Cranky little grumpy man. Man, where are all the nurses? Hello? Hello! We have one, two... Man, the nurses actually run everything. <laughs> Staff promotion, nice. Any course completed for treatment. Oh, that's right. We were, oh, that's right. We were teaching the nurses. There they are. I was like, what? All right, now I think we should train someone in uh, research. We can't find anybody in research. Let's look at our training options. We're gonna train to research. I don't even see the research option, which means can't do it. Which means no one has a free slot, which means we gotta hire somebody with a free slot. Nope, no litter is allowed. Um, Alright, let's hire you. And now we're gonna train ya. Sally? Oh. Jasmine, sorry. Wow, we are so broke. Wow, wow, wow. I gotta up our prices here. Sorry, don't care if you hate us. We need money. I get toilet rage sometimes, too. <laughs> oh, God. What's up, mage one? How's it going? Alright, so we, we are netting money, at least. I'm 
But we're not netting enough money. We gotta... We gotta get some more people in here. Everything is going well. We have everything we need. All of the pointy mountains Seems like we really need like a head office. Stay at the Underlook Hotel. Staff challenge, earn a hundred K, let's do it. I'm upping all our prices. This is two point radio. I'm gonna up the speed. We're kind of just waiting to see what we need. The biggest thing that we need right now- Oh my god, we don't have a bathroom over here. Oh god. Doctor has to go to the bathroom right before surgery. <laughs> Alright, let's put in a bathroom over here. Oh no, the doctor has to go to the bathroom. I'm hurried, I'm hurried. There you go. Staff promotion, nice. Decision rash. Injection room, okay. Instead of rash decision. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay, so now this lady's gonna do some research. Thanks for making that connection. Hey, I, didn't, I don't know if you're being sarcastic, but oh, we need we need another GP office. Hey, I didn't make that connection. It took me a minute. Better not be making fun of me. I'm trying to think of where I want to put this door. know if I want to put it there for now. So I, I do want to keep these machines. I guess we can do that. And um yeah, I guess that works. an invalid item. Oh, this thingy? Yeah, I don't know where to put this. Guess I'll put that there. Loco's so smart. Night A greens. This is, um, smog. Oh, uh, someone died. A smog place. Let's see. Put down a arcade machine. While people are waiting. You say someone died like you're surprised? It's just, it still doesn't get easier, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't get any easier. Nice, we did the 100k challenge, so I am gonna turn down the prices a little bit. Actually, I'll, I'll turn it back down to like, uh, back to what it was, because now we actually picked up a decent amount of money. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, this is this gonna be week, me I messy. Head to the pointy mountains for my Sinidra review segment. 
If you have any plans of staying at the Underlook Hotel, if anything, I might move the 